Hi and welcome to this video looking at how to fix water that is flowing into the pan of your toilet between the flushes. This is specific to push button toilets, doesn't matter whether it's on the top or on the front, um, but that system is slightly different to siphons and other systems basically. This toilet suffering with this issue can be a bit difficult to see. If I put some toilet cleaner across there, you'll see it's keeping a little clear line where the water is actually just constantly flowing down through. You can actually see some drips as well on this. So uh, let's have a look at fixing this issue. To investigate this issue, we're gonna to need to have a look in the system. This issue tends to be caused by one of three things in my experience. It's either a problem with the inlet, which is bringing water into the system here, with the flush valve, which is bringing the water out of the system and throwing it into the pan, usually on command, and obviously isn't in this scenario. Um, or sometimes it can just be a bit of a one-off scenario where the, uh, that flush valve is effectively staying slightly open and just needs a bit of assistance to close. So let's take this one off. It's quite common that these either come completely off and the push button is pushing straight down onto a set of two buttons here. In my case, it's got a control cable. So I'm just going to do here. You can see there's a release button there that will just disconnect. There we go and that then will just come straight off the top of there and that releases the top of the toilet. So I'll just put that one down out of the way. Right, we can then ignore that cable for the rest of this. Right now you've got a slightly better angle to see within the system here. You can see this blue fill valve and um, they tend to come in a blue or gray color for some reason, someone will probably uh, pop in the comments. Um, but uh, yeah, so that puts the water in from the mains into this system um, based on a float in this particular case. There's an overflow pipe here, which I can happen to see is already taking in water. Um, and we've got the outlet here known as the flush valve. Um, they are the three key components within here. On the modern systems, um, we can see that the overflow is basically flowing directly into the, uh, the outlet straight down into the pan. And in this particular scenario, it's quite obvious for me that's exactly what's causing the issue. Water's flowing directly down uh, into the overflow and that's taking it into the pan, which is why we're both hearing the sound, um, but we're also seeing the water within the pan itself. So that needs to be resolved, but I'm gonna try and show you the three different scenarios anyway, just so that um, you've got it dependent on whatever your situation is. Um, so let's start with the outlet, just because uh, that will bring the water level down anyway. In fact, let me just turn the water off down here on the isolation. That will prevent it refilling itself and prevent it continuing to overflow when we do this. I should have mentioned that if the fill valve is causing the issue, then it's likely that water will be using the overflow pipe, as in my scenario. If water's not up to the overflow pipe and you have got water leaking into the pan, then it's almost certain that the flush valve is the cause of the issue. I'm going to talk about the flush valve now, but if you think your issue relates to the fill valve, then you'll want to skip ahead and there's a link in the description to help you do that. Um, so if I lift this one out, they tend to, they are different, but you tend to just sort of push down a little bit and turn either left or right. The release position is in the middle and it's just a case of whether it's locked to the left or right. So um, we'll find out in this one. Move to the right a little bit. That's not releasing. So we'll try a little bit to the left to find that key position. So you can see what I was referring to is there's a lug on this side and exactly the same on the other side. And they sit paired into these two um, bits here. Um, into those two gaps there and they can either be turned left or right. You can also see the connection a little easier now between the overflow and the, uh, the, the flush area basically down into the pan. So what's holding the water back is this seal which does go and that is one of the reasons you might find that you've got an issue going on. Um, the other ones that can be fairly easily replaced just released on there um, and replace the seal or if you're bodging it a bit you can sometimes get away with just cleaning it up, turning it upside down or some such, um, but they're pretty cheap to go and pick up and replace. Um, when I talked about a sort of temporary issue, what I have seen in scenarios is that this doesn't, it's not moving quite as smoothly and it doesn't quite drop to the bottom position. Um, you can actually get your fingers in underneath it here um, and sometimes just help it, it, push it down slightly if it's not actually 
um, positioning. If it's obviously occurring multiple times as an issue, then either the seal itself is gone or this entire unit needs replacement, but uh, just worth a quick check to make sure um, that isn't the case. I'll just put this one back in for us. Uh, I'll put it that way around just so the cable's in an easier spot. Literally just pop it in, turn it very slightly and just shake it to make sure it's not going to come floating to the surface suddenly. So the other scenario relates to the inlet valve. Um, there's kind of more scenarios in a strange way all um, within that device. So uh, yeah, if the inlet is continuing to flow in, it is either because this arm hasn't reached the top and turned itself off, and that is caused simply by the position of the float and making sure that that remains below the uh, overflow, otherwise water will go into the overflow. And that's fairly easily adjusted in terms of moving that float up and down um, the, the, the stalk that it's sat on. It's important that it's able to reach a nice clean top position there. And as I say, that, that final float position sits underneath the overflow itself. That will make sure the water stops. If it doesn't stop when it's up at the top here, not 100% stops, which is the scenario I was getting, it got right to the top and the water's just very slightly continuing to trickle even an hour or two hours after it's last been flushed, then that probably relates to the valve itself. Um, and at the very top here of the valve, there is actually a washer. But uh, yeah, if that has perished, then that is also a really common cause of it. It depends really whether you want the effort of trying to get in there and doing anything with it. A lot of people will just replace the whole thing. And that is about eight pounds, around $10 or something to replace, which is what most people will do. I'm a little bit more of an eco fan. So wherever I can, I tend to try and replace that. So in terms of where that actually resides, there's two little bits here. Seems to be a very similar design for all of them, regardless of the manufacturer. I can just use those to get a little bit of leverage, hopefully, um, to pull this top cap off. Just that um, coloured section there should clip off. Come on, my friend. There we go. No damage. Good. <laughs> um, so I just popped that one off. It's very important you do have a cap on here because the water will literally come blasting up through the top, potentially, otherwise. So that must be securely clipped when you're sorted. Um, and there are little positions here. Again, this is kind of similar to the, the bit at the bottom here. This very top section can just rotate very slightly and be lifted out to get to the washer. That said, you need to be able to hold the bottom section. There's a risk of damaging this in the process. Um, it's a lot easier to do when it's out of the system itself, but I'm just gonna see if I can do it um, within here for you. I'm not going to be able to, not without doing some damage. Um, I'll take that one out and we can have a quick little look just to see about uh, what would happen for a replacement. Right, now we've got the fill valve removed. We're just going to attempt to do an anti-clockwise twist on just this very top section here. There we go. Just a small twist has moved these around here. And then I know I've got the arm slightly twisted in the process, which is why it's sometimes a lot more sensible to remove that. Um, but I just want to be able to show you inside and this should work absolutely fine. For that, and that top section will pop out. And in doing so, we gain access to uh, the washer system in here. For this top section, we're particularly interested in this bit here. I'm just seeing if we can get this one out. So there's a piece of plastic that's sitting in there. And then we get back to, in this case, a couple of washers. They're actually separate items, um, these particular two. Sometimes it's a diaphragm washer um, with it. I can see exactly what the issue is in that it's gonna be this washer around here, which, um, yeah, you can kind of see the condition. It's even warped, isn't it, basically? That is not in good nick. But a replacement of that would be the one that sits directly under there. It's a fairly simple swap out um, and hopefully cheap if you can find those um, and you just get a bit more satisfaction that you haven't had to throw the whole thing away. But um, in this particular case, as I say, I, I'm struggling to get hold of those. Um, it's going to have to come over from China and that in itself seems to be pretty poor eco-credentials. So. Um, unfortunately, this one goes and a brand new fill valve pops in for me. 
I hope this video has helped in terms of identifying three um, common issues as to what's causing water to flow into the pan and hopefully yours is now flowing cleanly. Um, let me know in the comments if this has been helpful um, or if there's any other ideas you've got for others who are suffering with this issue. Bingo. Might need a little adjustment on here later. We'll wait and see. That sounds like that's completely cut off. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.